Hey guys, it's Ash and welcome back to another episode of my journey to max Town Hall 11. In this episode, I'm going to focus more on my attacks. So let's delve into it. In this attack, I'm, I'm just going to use plain barge, barbarians, archers, a few witches, and a couple of wall breakers. And I'm up against a very rushed Town Hall 10 base that doesn't even have max Town Hall 8 defenses yet. So it's going to be very easy to demolish this base. It's also a dead base, lacking uh, active expos and traps as well. So it's going to be very easy to totally wreck this base with just barbarians and archers and this is one of the reasons that I farm here in Masters 3 obviously this was a very lucky find uh, it's gonna offer me over 700,000 in total resource plus the loot bonus which is 110,000 each here at Masters 3 so in total that's gonna be around 1 million in total resource and yeah, this is one of the reasons I farm here in Masters 3. I don't go too high like in Masters 2 or Masters 1. Uh, and the reason for that is because there are less frequent dead bases the higher you go up in leagues. So the lower you stay, the better, the higher chance of finding dead bases. Obviously, if you go even lower, like Crystal League or maybe even Gold League, you're going to find a much higher rate of uh, dead Town Hall 10 bases, Rush Town Hall 10 bases, but they are going to offer a bit less loot bonus. So that's a around uh, low Masters 3. So now I can upgrade my Grand Ward into level 8. Awesome. So as you can see, his uh, Elixir cost goes up by 500,000 per level. So the next level is going to cost me 6 million Elixir and then 6.5 million and so on. I'm also going to upgrade one of my level 10 walls to level 11 with the excess gold that I have. Okay, check this out. I found another one of these rushed, poorly rushed dead bases. And this base is going to offer me over 800,000 in total resource. And with the loot bonus, that's going to be over 1 million in total resource plus uh, over 4,500 dark elixir. Awesome. So I'm going to send out my barbarians, archers, giants from the right side. Had a clan castle lava hunt for some reason, uh, but that's fine. It's still gonna be very easy to completely demolish this base. Now he does have level seven mortars, and they're gonna one shot my level seven archers. Uh, but with the life aura ability, my archers are actually gonna be able to live the splash damage. So that's very awesome. That's really great. Now. I have level 7 archers that can actually sustain the damage from level 7 mortars and that's just really great with level 7 barge. You guys have no idea how good that is, uh, having being able to live off of that splash damage from a level 7 mortar just makes it much easier for me to completely demolish bases with just barge. Okay, here we have another poorly rushed Town Hall 10 base. I'm going to use the Earthquake spell right there, opening up the two inner layers, leading my troops towards the core. And if we look at his core, he has all his storages clumped together with his Town Hall. And this is really bad. It's a really bad idea to do this because if I get inside that core, if my troops get inside there, it's going to be a breeze taking all of it because he doesn't have much protection uh, for those storages. If you clump them all together like that, then uh, you don't have enough defenses in range to protect it. So it's going to be a piece of cake. He does have a single target inferno tower, but it, it's obviously single target. It's not going to be a problem against uh, this many barbarians and archers. So uh, quickly took that out. And now as you can see, my troops have made it towards the core. And now they're all freely targeting all the storages in there. And the defenses are having a hard time protecting it. Even though I'm using barbarians and archers, those defenses are having a pretty difficult time stopping me from stealing all of those resources. So here I have my king, he's almost at 50% and uh, only around 100,000 gold in elixir left. And uh, I decided to just attack it and just 3 star this base just for fun. So sometimes I do like completely demolishing bases uh, just for fun. And here's another awesome find, over 400,000 gold and elixir each, uh, all on the outside inside those drills. So that's gonna also land me in total over 1 million in total resource. So another cr pretty crazy find in uh, Masters 3. So if you guys are looking for that sweet spot, where that sweet spot is, that league to farm in for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 players, it's at Masters 3. And 
trophy range you should be at is around 2530 to 2650 that's the sweet spot and in this raid as you can see i'm not even using uh heroes i'm not using grand warden archer queen uh barbarian king it's just plain giants barbarians archers and uh, as you can see, I've cored the base. I went for the core because he still has uh, some remaining loot inside those storages, and I do want all of it. And as you can see, another player uh, poorly rushed Town Hall 10 base with single target Inferno. Really no idea why they do that, but it's just a really big mistake, and uh, it's just gonna make it very easy for me to take all of those storages again. Again, they're all clumped together inside this small core, uh, really unprotected. And now with all those dead bases that I found, I was able to load up on my storages again. Uh, I'm going to upgrade two of my level 10 walls now to level 11. And I only have about six of them left, so that's awesome. And I'm also going to be able to upgrade my Grand Ward into level 9. Awesome. So just one more level and I'll get his ability level to level 2. And uh, that way, my Eternal Tome ability can last for 4 seconds. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And also subscribe if you haven't for more great content. And I'll see you guys again soon. Later.